Welcome to the shed. This is Iced Out Images coming at you with another vape cart review. It's been a long time fucking coming. Um, I've been just on a huge weed kick. Like, I, clearly by my videos, you can tell. All of a sudden, I stopped doing carts there for a hot minute, and then it's just been like a random one here and there, and then pretty much just flower just because I've just been really enjoying it. Um, you know, as soon as it went legal and I could just go pick up what I want, it's just kind of like I'm trying to try every little fucking thing out there. And, uh, you know, so my boy hit me up. Well, actually, that's a lie. I hit him up asking him if he, he had some, uh, good bud just cause he lives real close. Um, you know, it was worth a shot. He said, also, he's out of carts at the moment, but his boy's got a couple. I paid $40 for this, and this is uh, 5 10 bucks more than... Um, sorry if you can hear the heaters. Uh, 5 10 bucks more than what you would pay at a dispo. I think I've seen them for like 30 35 some somewhere in that ballpark. Um, but I've never reviewed this product before. I'm, I don't feel like super high right now or anything like that. Like I still feel like in my eyes a little bit. Um, I took a hit off of, uh, one of the other guy's cartridges when, uh, he showed up, but that was like 45 minutes ago. Um, <clears throat> so I couldn't wait you know, to, to try this. So, we're going with some gauge cannabis. And we're going with banana sorbet. According to the sticker, this is banana sorbet or sherbet whatever, no, sorbet, sherbet, whatever the fuck, now I'm getting in my own head, like, thinking about it as I say it, med vape cart, indica, on here, leafly says hybrid, so, another one of those things, produced on 12-3-2021, THC is 93. 3%, CBD is 0.74%, produced slash packaged by Pure X LLC, got your source tag, testing facility is uh, something lab, they gotta get better stickers, that's the only other sticker on it other than the little little QR code at the top. So apparently, oh, oh, sorry. Apparently, the guy I was talking to is trying to say that Gage bought Platinum Vapes. Last thing I heard was Red White Bloom or whatever had bought them for X amount of millions. Um, so if anyone knows anything about that, whether Gage actually ended up buying them or not. Um, you know, let me know. Um, it's not that I think my friend's lying or anything like that. It's just until I do the research, I don't fully know. But he was saying because Indicas have the pink tips in Platinums. Uh, the blue is hybrid. Or no, wait a minute. Orange is sativa, blue was indica, and this was uh, hybrid originally, with the platinum vapes at least. So, here's a little, little protector, but it's got like a weird, I don't even know why that would be on there. 
So C cell got all the numbers. Actually, that's not even a good comparison. Let's. Bubbles aren't moving very quick. All that good shit. So. Yeah, I guess that's a. I would say that's what that is. On the dry hit, on the cart. It tastes kind of like that smell you get when you first um, uh, peel the banana. That initial smell when you first peel the skin back, you know? So I'm going to be using my Yokane Unipro. Still going fucking strong. Got that one. My black one still going strong. My original one from the other videos from way back when. Still going. Three point two is what I'm still running it at. And fuck it. Let's give this a go. Definitely banana. Banana sweet. <coughs> Still got a little bit of that bite at the end that you get from a lot of carts. I, I'll be honest. I don't miss that bite. <coughs> um, it's the one thing like a lot of the carts have in common. It just... I can't even contribute it to really the earthy tones anymore. It's just a lot of the carts in general. But breathing out my nose definitely gets me sneezing. But the one he had me try earlier was the same thing. They had... Gelatinous, gelat something, um, waffle cone, blueberries, blueberry pie, blueberry something. There was like one other, so, and I chose the same one that I tried because it was the higher percentage, also. Um, so as I said, it's a, a lot of like banana, fruity type flavor up front. Uh, definitely a little bit of bite in the back. Breathe out your nose, it'll give you the sniffles, it'll give you the uh, sneezes, shit like that. That's probably with a lot of the carts anyway, so well, at least it happens to me, you know. <laughs> Banana all day. As I said, I just... That bite is harsh. Uh, pretty intense high. Um, I'm leading with the Indica versus the Hybrid. If it is a Hybrid, it is definitely uh, a high Indica leaning. Um, I would say if it was Hybrid, I would say 80-20 Indica. But I feel... It made me feel mellow, brought me down a little bit, uh, relaxed, shoulders are a little loose, knuckles are a little looser. Um, I would definitely try more of these. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Get your hands on it, try it. It's the only one I've tried so far, so... 
with that being said, I can't really speak on the others yet, but I definitely plan on trying a bunch of these. I want some of the actual ones with like the weed names though, not all just, well, I know bananas, like that's an actual weed strain. I get the other ones are too, but instead of it sounding like uh, something like that, I want like uh, Green Crack, uh, Jack Harrier, um, maybe not specifically Jack Harrier because I've done a bunch of that one, but like just actual weed, like other weed strains. Limoncello, L London Pound Cake, you know, all the ones that you can see in um, the Geo. You know, you see them all in there. But, uh, high definitely delivers flavors there. As I said, the only negative is that, like, harsh bite. Um, I would say great for a midday to night time, night time strain. Um, if you're trying to get some shit done, I'm not saying you can't get shit done, but there's some people that have less motivation than others. So if they were to hit something like this, maybe it would help make them even less motivated so they don't get shit done where other people are just going to power through and get it done regardless on what they're doing anyway. Um, but yeah, still love my, my battery and, uh, fucking yeah. I gotta get some more carts. <laughs> I gotta keep these going, you know. A couple of you asked me for them. So, banana sorbet, sorbet, sherbet, whatever the fuck, gauge. As I said, 93.3%. 40 bucks. As I said, I paid a little bit extra, but I would have paid almost that in tax anyway. Um, so, whatever fucking deal with it right um other than that i don't really have much else to say as i said the high delivers sets in feel it through here uh, very little um all down here dry eye first dry mouth is a close second and that's really all i gotta say about it get your hands on it Peace. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like this one. Anyone that's been asking me for carts, here you go. We'll see about getting some more of these. Going to do a couple of the 4 for 100 deals on plats and some other ones. See if I can get some new flavors that I haven't already done. And uh, keep moving forward.